He's back in the house, back in the house, yeah, back in the house. So now we've got Puppy Linux Slacko 57. Okay. Now I very first started with Puppy Linux when I first started doing videos about five, six years ago. Yeah, it's been that bloody long. More grey hair. Anyway, I thought I'd go back to my roots and have a lookage about it. So anyway, the usual file, help, mount, install, setup, edit, console, and write. Browse, email, chat, plan, play, and connect. All nice and simple for you to have a look. Now, in under file, we use rocks, and that's my video I'm actually recording now. If you're watching, it's a full install. Well, it's on a safe phone, on a USB stick, on a nice big screen. Now, the help file, and I'll quickly click on that so you can see, it basically takes us to the Puppy Slicko help page, and you can get all the information here that you want to know about and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, lovely. Drink it. Hang on a second. Mount for mounting your drives. Also, most of the time they should auto mount. Now, install. You can use the universal installer. Install to a USB stick here. And if you click on install applications under that tab, you get to go to the puppy package manager or the SFS files and the repos, which you can download some stuff. Now, I'll quickly open the puppy package manager. As you can see, I've got a big going on. You'll find out if you're using the Slacko, there's not much in the repos compared with precise okay yeah there's not well, there's plenty here there's not there's as much as I would like just say that but yeah you can get bits and bobs no problem so if we go over to multimedia you get audacity LX view and LX music here yeah. go to the slacky repos a lot more avid emux banger ram what else we've got down there Cinderella I can use that for ages actually lots of plug remember I've installed quite a bit on here anyway to get it all running because I'm actually recording inside slack hope yeah under internet, you can get Chrome, Chromium, Claws, Mount, the Google Talk plugin, so you can do your toolkits. Aurora's here, AMSN, AMU, and FileZilla, all the extras you can get. Oh, and an SM tube for doing YouTube browsers and stuff like that. It's a bit easy, isn't it? Now, under setup, okay, you can change your language and country, startup, mouse and keyboard, accelerated graphics, ordinary graphics, sound, internet, and your printer, which we've all done again for myself, so I'm not going to do them again. And there's a terminal. Ah, or the console, so we call it. Right, next, for right, we have, oh, that's a bit small, let's open it up a bit. We have Abbey Word. Now, it's not the most recent, but it does what it says on Latin. Okay, yeah, it does. Have the credits up. Abbey the Ant, it does that, and David Chart, yeah. They're the geezers that do this bit here. But yeah, all works hunkily dory of the hunkily of the dory. Oh, yeah. For calculations, we get GNumeric. Now, GNumeric's been around a long while, and it just does it. There's no problems. It converts from all different files, etc., etc. I have never had any problems, personally. Some of you may have. But remember, bear in mind, this is only 106 megabytes. Sorry, 160 megabytes to download. We've also got Inkscape Like, as you can see here. Yeah, that's what it says on the letting again. Yeah. For paints, we have M Paint or MT Paint, should we say? M Paint. Or something. Yeah, no, I mean, I'll make me square one. And we'll fill that in with me bucket. Bucket, yeah, it's all gone red. It does what it says. No problem at all. Okay. Your default browser is a Firefox. Even though it's an older version, it's only Firefox 17. I must update that actually. I'll probably get around to doing that. I'll go to Google a second so we can look. See, it works fine. The fonts may not be as you're used to, but it does the job. I'm saying again, 160 megabytes. Personally, I prefer precise personally. But Slacko is fine. It is nice and quick. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This is Slacko main page. It started with 53 down there. Oh look, and there's 57 what we're using today. Okay. There's a new page from Barry. Gives you lots and lots of information, extra notes of what you want to do with it. Okay. That was nice, wasn't it? Hmm. It was very nice. I liked it anyway. Anyway, where was it? Email, Slyfid. X chat for your chatting. There we go. For Slacko. Nice. Turn them off. Bye. Now I'll go down on the corner there. All right, we have Osmo for your calendar work. Now, Osmo's been around for years and years and years, and it just does the job. So I'm quite happy with that, as long as you are. Okay. I'll we'll quit that as well. Right. We've got known player for playing stuff and what have you. And the connect icon. We have a menu down here, but I'm not going to use that one just yet. No. So if we right click here, you can get your menu on the top. Okay. So you can change the desktop icons. The theme managers, and we've got Nathan's wallpaper setter, so I'll change the wallpaper so you can see what I'm on about. And that one looks pretty naughty, lovely. Click apply, we've changed our wallpaper. Oh, yeah, I'm right. 
Obviously, you can download whatever ones you want. These are ones that come standard with the disk drive, okay? Come as standard. What else have we got down here? We've got the system. Boot manager, CPU, frequency scaling, grub for DOS, configuration, hardware information. So you can see what machine I'm running on. Summary. As you can see, I'm running an old fashioned quad core here. And I mean old fashioned, it's donkey's years old. But I've got three little RAM in it, okay? Blah, 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 blah. I'm using NVIDIA graphics, the basic ones on this one. It's just because it makes it easier. Click on the processors again, yeah. So it only runs at 16 minutes of bleeding time. And there's the memory, yeah. Yeah, it does what it says. Obviously, you can play around with it and get more stuff going down, but hey. Also, you can check out your video information and your graphics information. I'll open the H top for you. And as you can see, it's running quite a bit here. But remember, I'm recording using an F desktop recorder here, which comes, well, doesn't come with it, but it comes in the repos. But if you update the repos, it goes away. Okay, just want to tell you that. It normally runs at under 100 megabytes of RAM, as you can see. X11 grabs, do the double FMPEG stuff for recording. Ah, oh, yeah. Hey, set up. We've been through most of this, but like you can open a puppy package manager there if you wanted to. SFS is on the fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wizard, wizard. All the stuff configuring what I've already said before. You can install this and stuff like that. Grab the DOS bootloader configuration again. Just uh, remaster your pup and wait, pup. Okay. But under utility, here is F desktop recorder, which I'm using now. Now it uses QT, okay. So the complete download, including all the dependencies, is around about 650 megabytes. So be aware of that when you're doing it. Very quickly. Okay. As before, Rox is our file manager, but you also get some other stuff in there. So the format ink light and stuff. View noir for your view images. Exane for scanning your, your scanner. Take a screenshot. Yeah. Documents, your genie leave pad, MP console editor, stuff like that, a dictionary and some PDF viewers and stuff. Home bank, D numeric, and the personal will get diddy wicked and stuff like that. But the best thing down here is bcrypt file encryption. And basically, I won't actually do one because I've done a video on it years ago before. You just find a file you want to encrypt, right? You basically drag it over, put it in there, enter your password, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, it's encrypted and you can send it to your friends, so nobody else can have a look at it. Oh, under network, you can do all your stuff for your file, etc. etc. As you can see, that's the green icon down in the right hand side. File sharing, port scanning, I've installed Skype and stuff like that. Flash doesn't come by default, you just click on Get Flash and it installs it for you. You get a choice of what one you want to use. Yeah, nice. Slifey does a stuff for mail and you get transmission as well. Which is nice. And puppy phone is an internet phony thing. Double F convert, best on the market out there. As you see, more QT stuff I've had to install. You also get Pup Radio and Pup Tele Fortune TV and radio and stuff like that. And you can put your own channels in because you wouldn't watch all Barney Bunny all the time, would you? No. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. We'll go down a bit. You get CD player, which is P Music, music sound generated. A PAV recorder, or a Sunder I put in myself for ripping the CDs. Enough of building programs and stuff like that. And a couple of games. And that's about it, really. Yeah. Now, in my opinion, Slacko is good, but I don't think it's as good as Precise. No. Because it just doesn't get enough to put on it. Hey, that's all to come in the future, isn't it? It's all to come in the future? Because they're working on it. How much am I going to give it? Ooh, uh, 91 out of 100. Sneaky Linux. Ah, see you later. Bye bye.